say non-geographical location. Chipotle. Chipotle. <laughs> I mean an object. Scissors. Scissors. I heard scissors. Thank you very much. Well, I was unemployed and my old woman left me. I didn't know just what to do. So I got myself an application for a job interview. <laughs> but I might have overdone it when I wore that tuxedo. Because <laughs> the job, turns out, all it was was making to hope they burn it. <laughs> you know they say dress for the job you want, they're lying. Sometimes the jobs you're looking for require jeans and a t-shirt. If you wear a tuxedo, you might not get to make burritos. <laughs> Yeah, hey, you get better though. I feel like this is working for you. 
Well, Dad. I feel like we're going to have an emotional moment, son. <laughs> Did you steal something from me? I brought you a burrito. I made it on the <laughs> <food. laughs> Okay, boys. Yeah. We're going to start off today by <laughs> learning the first rule of fashion. Yeah, okay. Okay. You can never, ever wear the brown shoes with the black belt. <laughs> so, you take this scissor, I want you to cut a dress. You take this other pair of scissors, and you do something interesting. Okay, yeah. <laughs> what if I just, um, what if I cut these jeans right here? And turn them into shorts. <laughs> Are you thinking of the word shorts? No! <laughs> I don't know where I would have gotten that idea from. <laughs> So, Papi, Papi, in terms of this kind of whole fashion thing, you know, like, what if I want to put whatever fucking colors I want to in there? What if my, what if my racial background changes as I keep talking? <laughs> That's difficult for everyone, yeah? Was, I changed so quickly. Oh, no, no problems. Yeah, it's very difficult. <laughs> Yeah. Whenever you tell me to do things in a fashion shop, I have difficulty trying to decide exactly who I am. <laughs> Just so we had a, like a clothes crisis, I'm having an identity crisis. Teach Manuel, teach your brother something here. You have to stick with your roots. You cannot just keep changing. Every time you watch Flight of the Concord, you cannot become new from New Zealand or something. Oh, you can't well. just follow everything you see. I do follow everything I see. That's the problem. We live in Petworth. Everything is changing so quickly. <laughs> One day, I feel like I'm surrounded by my people. The next day, I feel like I'm surrounded by white people. I don't know what to do. The genes are the same. <laughs> Get ready for your PSATs. Come on. <laughs> what? I'm just so nervous about these. You know I always get nervous about preparatory exams. <laughs> the eighth grade for the third time. Oh, like, yeah, you know, it's it's always those pre-tests that get me every time when I start the class. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because you just ate a bucket of Chipotle. <laughs> <laughs> you think, are you thinking I shouldn't do that? that and they always look at me funny when I order the bucket at Chipotle. <laughs> it's a very unorthodox sort of order. It's a secret menu, though. <laughs> yeah. but, but no, but seriously, though, get ready for the test. You can't keep doing this. I'm sick of being your eighth grade teacher. <laughs> Three years, man. But I get the I get the coffee in buckets too. Do you think that's a bad idea? Yeah, I don't know what your parents are have all this stuff. They think I should have a bucket-based diet. They think that's a So I said to Jessica, I said, if that's what you really want to do, you should make sure to do it, but don't make me involved, because I don't want to be a partner to your shit anymore. Yeah. You did not! I did! I, I told her, I told her, this is not the time for us to have this conversation. You, wait. Hi, ladies. Hi, Jessica. <laughs> What's going on here? Jessica, we were just talking about the conversation we had earlier. Oh, which one? The one where I said I was not going to be a partner to your shit anymore. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to be a partner to your shit anymore. You've got to learn how to use the bathroom on your own. <laughs> it is absurd. It is absurd that a grown-ass woman needs two other grown-ass women in order to relieve herself. <laughs> First of all, that was part of the roommate agreement that you guys signed. <laughs> Was that the was that a footnote? I knew that one had a read. Oh! She's <laughs> <laughs> oh, Americans. Oh, she's Americans. <sighs> they will never learn. They are so funny, you know. So many emotions. So many emotions. You know how I knew it was an American that broke into the Louvre? Mm. You wore a fleece. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> It was so easy. A fleece, my friend, and, and new balance. <laughs> Nouveau balance. <laughs> it's such a dead giveaway. Their crimes are just so gosh. Their crimes are so gosh. Yes, and you know it was the weirdest thing? They didn't steal any art. 
I just went to the Burger King and they said I would have two of those, and they did not pay. <laughs> I think they did not understand that the money is money as well. Oh, that is true. You know, I've seen that happen a lot. Perhaps they were not criminals at all. Oh, that is a deep philosophical question. <laughs> <laughs> we spent the next uh, seven hours discussing it rather than working. <laughs> Relax. This playground is big enough for both of you. <laughs> That's not what Timmy said to me earlier. He was on my swing! <laughs> you guys have to learn to respect each other. Oh, I don't know That's about that. Be hard. That's gonna be hard. That's gonna be hard. Yo, we've been friends since the third grade, yo. We're still in the third grade. <laughs> I wanted to swing. I wanted to swing. That's all I'm gonna say about it. So we got away with the crime because we had such tight pants, and nobody could tell the difference since we. Escape to France, but no. <laughs> turns out aesthetics are important. <laughs> turns out aesthetics are important. If you're gonna get caught trying to steal some art, the best you can do is wear tight pants. Thank you! <laughs>